We are here at the home of Leeds United, Ellen Road, where the official 49ers UK watch party is happening here tonight. Normally it's all about Premier League, but not tonight. It's all about the NFL. You can hear the fans getting excited. And the president of the 49ers faithful for the UK uh, is Lee. Lee. What a crowd building already, and what a night this is going to be. Yeah, it's fantastic. You talk about the players on the bench, they'll have an impact, of course, tonight, as yeah. they did yeah. at Leicester. Not in Badawiki coming on, and then he becomes player of the match. Yeah, yeah. Substitutes coming on, scoring goals. That strength in depth for you as a head coach yeah. must be great. Definitely, yeah. I think Welcome to the big match preview. Leeds United on the back of a 3-0 win at Villa Park, uh, sitting sixth in the league, ahead of Arsenal, Chelsea, Man United and Man City. We'll take advantage of these things whilst they're there, don't you? Joining us today is Leeds United legend Eddie Gray and a man whose shriek was so loud when Patrick Bamford scored his hat-trick <laughs> goal that it was heard all across Birmingham. Tony DiRigo, you enjoyed that one on Co-Coms. I couldn't help yes. myself. That was the thing. I just couldn't it, help what it. What a moment. What a moment. It, the commentator says at the time, it, it's as good as it gets for a Leeds United striker scoring against Man United at Old Trafford. He scores yeah. some big goals, obviously. Is yeah. that the one? It's got to be, hasn't it? Yeah. It's got to be. Um, just because of what it meant to, to every single one of the Leeds United supporters, Leeds United players, staff, the management. Yeah, it's got to be. It's got to be. Celebrations. There's quite like a muddy patch on the ground where you're sort of diving there is now. And, you, <laughs> and you're just there and thousands of Leeds fans, obviously with it being a cup game more than you'd normally get for oh, a, a regular league game. Just describe the feeling, the atmosphere, how it was. Do you know what? It was, um, it was incredible. Yeah, it, let's it get stuck into uh, this season's fixtures. And Dom, a home fixtures start with, in fact, we'll start and end the season at home. Uh, Tottenham at the back end, we'll come on to that. Yeah. But starting with Wolves at home, we haven't had that opportunity since being back in the Premier League. And it's great, isn't it? Because that opening day of the season is oh. a special moment, hopefully a bit of sunshine yeah. and everyone piling into Ellen Road for what will uh, hopefully be first victory of the season, Don. Yeah, indeed, it'll be very noisy, very lively. You're joining something really special here, something that's been building over the last few seasons under Marcelo Bielsa as well. What are your, your goals personally, the aspirations for the team to be a part of this great club and to, to go on and push them even further in the Premier League? <laughs> Some of the numbers here, um, scored eight last night, scored nine tonight, it was seven in the castle last week, it's another four point weekend, you sit top of the table, it's eight wins in a row. They're all good numbers to hear, aren't they? Yeah, they, um, we've got a team, obviously a talent, very talented team, we say this every week. Okay, but do you know what, Just Nickett will do enough, if we can get three points, tremendous. OK, we will leave you there in the glamour of your uh, half studio, <laughs> half, I mean, it looks like half toilet surroundings, let's be honest with that, uh, sort of tissue paper it's all, behind you. It's all, it's all showbiz. <laughs> <laughs> whatever, whatever you need to get you through your commentaries, Tony. That